Welcome back to Local SEO Tactics, where each week we bring you tips and tricks on how to help your business get found and grow online. And this week we've got an interview with Joe Anderson with Metaphor Creations. If you remember back in episode 39, we had Joe jo on for an interview and we talked about WordPress plugins, uh, kind of some back end development related stuff. And Joe Anderson with Metaphor Creations is a very important partner here with us here at Intrix and Local SEO Tactics. He's kind of our main guy for WordPress backend development, plugin development, uh, things of that nature. And if you haven't checked out episode 39 yet, uh, definitely go go listen to that as well. By far and away, it was our most popular episode uh, to date with over twice the amount of downloads and listens of any other episode. And on top of that, uh, until we took our break there after episode 39, uh, it was also our most recent episode, right? So if you can imagine, not only was it our our newest episode, freshest episode, it also had twice the amount of downloads of any other episode that we put out there. Uh, it kind of speaks to the popularity uh, of the topic, how good Joe is, and really uh, how impactful the episode is. So uh, if you haven't listened to that, check it out. Uh, this episode here with Joe, we're going to be talking about site speed, particularly within WordPress. Uh, plugins for your site, you want to have some best practices, uh, things to avoid, and uh, just kind of how to manage your plugin, uh, watch out for plugin bloat, and just general tips on how to make your site fast, which is a very important topic um, nowadays for mobile usability, for Google, um, ranking people based on site speed. Not that it's a, a huge ranking factor, but it does matter. If your site is slower than somebody else's, obviously you're going to suffer. Uh, so there's lots of good tips in here. And we're actually going to break uh, this interview into two parts. So um, first part this week, uh, second part's going to drop next week. So stay tuned for that. I uh, hope you guys like it. Uh, have a great time whenever Joe is in talking about stuff. And I think you're going to learn a lot. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, Jesse Dolan here with Joe Anderson again. And we wanted to talk to you real quick about something uh, Joe has to offer. We had Joe on a few weeks ago uh, talking about some of the plugins that he develops and how we use uh, Metaphor Creations and Joe um, and a lot of what we do in Drix day to day. Uh, bringing Joe back on to talk more uh, about some of these um, kind of under the hood um, things for your website to increase your SEO and get your website found. Uh, real quick, when Joe was on last time, uh, he had a $5 discount he was offering everybody for any of his plugins and products. Pretty cool offer Joe's got here for everybody. Uh, 10% off the Diddy News Ticker Bundle. Um, if you want to elaborate on what that is or... Yeah, so the, the Diddy News Ticker Bundle is just a single purchase, which allows you access to all of my Diddy News Ticker extensions, um, all the current extensions, as well as any I may make in the future. So nice. if I add them on the site, you'll have access. Seriously, to anything in the future, well. too? Anything. Like in the if future. you come up with a Diddy Pinterest ticker or whatever it's going to be, yep. that'll be a free yep. so for everybody. Oh, wow. It'll be available there for you. So yeah, I'll, I'm giving you guys 10% off. Your purchase of that bundle, whichever nice. license you choose, you can do the single site license, you can do a two to five site license or an unlimited site license. Um, you'll get mm. 10% off whatever that price is. So that's 10% you were saying right before we, we started recording. That's 10% on if you purchase it or um, if you had purchased some kind of previous licenses on your, any of your tickers, if they want to upgrade to the bundle, they yeah, get 10% so off there if, too. If you took the $5 off offer last time Previously. to purchase one, you can now upgrade to the bundle. Um, and get 10% off the upgrade price nice. of your previously discounted nice. purchase. Uh, what kind of code do they need to enter at checkout for that? Uh, we are going to use Intrix Diddy. I N T R Y C K S D I T T Y. Plug that in at checkout. You know you got it right if you see a 10% come off, right? Yeah, so yeah. If, if you don't, come back and listen to this again. Uh, but no, really check that out. Um, if you haven't checked out that previous episode with Joe where we talk about um, plugins and content creation, uh, if you want to know more about what this is and what the heck are these guys talking about, check out that episode. It's pretty long, but we get really into some great stuff and you're going to understand what this bundle is and what it can do for you. So um, we'll put a link to it in the show notes, but uh, go to intrix.com slash Diddy Bundle, D-I-T-T-Y Bundle, and it'll bring you right to that page to learn more um, on Joe's website. Take advantage. Uh, we've talked before about some things for uh, making a fast website and the importance of it. Uh, today, we're going to dive a little bit into uh, some of those, maybe a little bit deeper into some areas we haven't talked about before. Uh, website speed is very important for SEO you know, nowadays, um, not only just as a pure ranking factor, uh, which Google has come out and said is it's a ranking factor, um, but again, so much more traffic is on uh, mobile uh, versus you know desktop or laptop on Wi-Fi as before. And when you're out there on mobile, um, things can be a little bit slower, right? So today we're going to kind of dive into what we use, um, some of our tactics and things we recommend to making your website faster. 
uh, because it is so important nowadays. Um, probably the first thing that I'd throw out there, Joe, maybe you can speak to it is uh, website hosting. Um, and I would even say on this too, I know most of the things we're going to say here are with the kind of the undercurrent of using WordPress, right? Yes. Um, yeah. Now you can use WordPress in a very slow way and we'll get into some of the, you know, some of the bloat, you know, plug in bloat and things. Um, but in WordPress isn't like inherently fast, you know, or slow. Um, it's kind of like your phone. You can load it up with a bunch of crap or not. Um, so I just kind of want to make that disclaimer going forward in this episode, the things we're talking about definitely apply, you know, straight up to WordPress. Um, some of these won't apply if you're not using WordPress as your, your website content management platform or, you know, method of um, hosting your website. Um, but some of the things we're going to talk about are not, you know, dependent on using WordPress. So, um, so if you are using WordPress, pay attention to all this. If you're not using WordPress, you know, some of this is still going to apply to you. Don't, don't tune out, still pay attention because you will make your website faster too. So just kind of give that quick disclaimer. Um, so now with that for hosting and explicitly for WordPress hosting, um, our favorite is SiteGround, right? Yeah. I mean, we've, we've been working together for quite a few years now yep. and separately for years before that. Yep. And, you know, being web companies, you obviously use hosting companies, you right. know, every website out there has to be hosted somewhere. Right. Um, and when you first start on this adventure of building and running websites, you really don't know where to start. Yep. Um, and we've been through a few different hosting companies. I've personally probably been through five or six different hosting companies, um, and have moved on for various reasons, whether it's, um, just load speed, um, issues with the hosting company, you know, yep. site going down, um, we've had some big issues ourselves with just support, tech um, support. Yeah. Customer you know, service. If your support, site yeah. goes down, you, you want to get answers fairly quickly. And if those aren't answered in yeah. a timely fashion, it's time to move on to a different hosting company. Yeah. Like it's in that example, your website down for you, it's pretty urgent. Yeah. When you're dealing with a company who doesn't see that as pants on fire urgent, it's a little frustrating. Yeah. <laughs> so ultimately, um, what we've ended up on is SiteGround, yeah. which we both absolutely love. Yeah. Um, their, their technology for the little bit we know, um, I'm a de uh, WordPress developer, uh, build websites, but server stuff isn't my forte. Right. Um, but as far as working through different hosting companies, um, we just absolutely love SiteGround. Their, yeah. their speed, um, their ease of use, ease of setup, their support, is top notch. Oh yeah. Um, and that's what really sold us is their support is yeah. getting issues fixed and answered quickly with knowledgeable support staff. Right. Um, whether it's direct chat or leaving a uh, ticket or even a phone call, yep. um, they get things done. I, I love their chat personally myself. Um, I don't think I've ever had a chat ticket or I'm sorry, a chat session with site ground that's required like some kind of direct escalation to a superior. Um, <clears throat> we've dealt with a lot of other hosting companies in the past, like you said, either together or independently, I'm not going to name names, blue host, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, it's really frustrating to like invest 10, 15, 20 minutes, roll. right? <laughs> Watch the video for Joe's reaction when I, I muttered there. Um, but it's really frustrating when you're in a chat with somebody for 10, 15 or even 20 minutes going through their processes to explain your scenario just to get elevated to like the next tier of support and go through the whole thing again and then have to submit a ticket and blah, blah, blah with SiteGround, I can't think of a scenario. I hesitate to say this has been every time cause I might be forgetting something. Um, but I can't remember a scenario where I haven't just been like immediately resolved with chat, uh, which is awesome because you know, sometimes you got to wait while they do something or check into whatever. I love having chat up. So I'm not tied up on the phone, whatever. And, uh, just my experience before SiteGround was like chat was like a secondary like level of support, like just not well, as good. I'll contradict you a little bit there. I've had a few chat sessions where they have escalated uh, me to, to you know a higher level, but the the speed and yeah. quickness for not only the the chat specialist to be like, all right, this is beyond my scope. I'm going to escalate this. Sure. You know, I wasn't on there for a half an hour waiting for them to finally say, right. all right, I don't know what I'm doing. Right. You know, they're like they're pretty quick to say, all right, we're going to escalate this, and they'll create the ticket for you, and even with that said, then the ticket gets answered within a half an hour, right? You know, fast. Uh, which 
is very fast, if not even sooner sometimes. And I don't think that's a contradiction. Like to give everybody full disclosure, um, like when stuff's way over my head, like you're the guy that takes care of it, right? So <laughs> if, if either one of us is going to be escalated for an issue, it's definitely going to be you. Um, just so, kind of the middleman sometimes. Yeah. And that so, goes on to support. I'm kind of like, you know, most of our, our listeners out there, um, just kind of plugging away and trying to figure some things out, but not being an expert, you know, so like from that end of things, psych has been amazing. If we have like some hardcore what's going on or some questions about scaling something, I mean, that's where you come into play. So, uh, don't let that deter you out there from thinking, um, you're potentially going to get escalated and whatever, even if you do, like you said, they, they, they jump on it. So, uh, bottom line. Their tech support, their customer support is awesome. It's a nice peace of mind. Uh, yeah. If, when you're running a website and you see it's down, you kind of freak out a little bit. Yeah. You know, a, a lot of it, dude. That's a lot know, of it. If you don't know how to re- resolve this <laughs> right. issue yourself right away, you're like, ah, what do I do? So right. If you can hop on a support and they can get to it and get it fixed for you, that's right. almost priceless. You know. And I'd say, gosh, not to be too long here on their tech support because we are talking about speed. Um, but I tell you what, like I don't even. I don't even get intimidated or stressed when I know I got to start a chat with them because I fully expect their people to ask me the questions that I need to be answering to further it. They say, hold on, and they come back. I'm like, you're going to tell me it's fixed, aren't you? I'm like, hey, you're, you're up and running or whatever. You know, yeah. it's just – anyways, it's amazing. Um, if you guys want to check out SiteGround, I'll get, I'm going to give you a link. It's an affiliate link, full disclosure. Uh, it's not going to cost you guys any more to go through this link, but it's going to take you right to the SiteGround pricing page, um, and we're going to get a few bucks for it if you do sign up with SiteGround. Uh, we're not promoting them because of this affiliate link, quite frankly. Um, there are other hosting companies out there that have like massively profitable affiliate programs that we could be promoting and, and getting way more money for anybody that signs up. Um, we do this with SiteGround because we love SiteGround. We're a, a customer of theirs, and that's why we promote them. So go to intrix.com slash SiteGround. Again, it's not going to cost you any more to go through that link, but it is going to give us a few bucks if you do sign up. Um, so, you know, it helps us out. Um, you're going to find their, their programs are affordable and particularly, I think I talked about this in a previous episode about speed, uh, particularly for WordPress hosting. I mean, they're good in general, but for WordPress hosting, I would challenge all you, if you want to just Google, you know, fastest WordPress hosting companies and things like that, you're going to consistently find site ground on anybody's list. Who's putting a blog or an article or a how to guide out there. If you just want to kind of fact check this and make sure we're not just trying to pump somebody, you know, up for any or other reasons. Um, this is how we found them in the first place. We were like, okay, we're fed up with our hosting. Uh, we used multiple hosts. We wanted to bring it all under one roof. We wanted to find the best company to work with, the fastest company to work with. That's how we found these guys to begin with is, yep. is researching it ourselves, and we've been blown away ever since. So, um, so again, circling back to site speed, get yourself a great host uh, that's going to put out um, some fast servers and, and make your site just as fast as it can be. Choose site ground. Kind of the additional reason to choose SiteGround is you're going to get some of the most amazing tech support um, that you're going to get from from a hosting company. So yep. double double reasons there. Um, next topic here for site speed is probably something that most people aren't utilizing on their website, which is some kind of content delivery network or, or CDN it might be called. Yeah. So what a CDN or content delivery network is, it's, it's a third-party website. So your site, your website is hosted on your server. Um, page speed is kind of calculated by how much data is being loaded off your site. What Content Delivery Networks does is it allows you to host, say, like images or even different scripts, whether it's CSS, JavaScript, external scripts that are used to run your site, but they're hosted on a different server. Um, so your site's loading assets off of your server, but it's taken a lot of that uh that loading off of your server mm. and it's coming from a different site okay. to help improve your page speed. So I know initially when I first heard of content delivery networks or before I did, I always thought, Oh, the fastest thing to do is keep everything right on your site, sure. you know, because it's there and it's easy to get to, you know, but that's not really how it works. It's you're trying to take that load off of your server and kind of expanding it to other sites. Okay. So you're bringing in assets, and they're all loading at the same time from different different areas. So I'm glad we brought you on for this because before I think I've mentioned Cloudflare to people out there in CDNs. And my explanation was not nearly as relevant or as, <laughs> no. as actually in-depth as yours. Um, you know, I talked about how they do have, you know, multiple servers kind of across the country. There's some proximity yep. in play there. But um, yep. quite frankly, I never even knew of that aspect of it, which makes a ton of sense. It's like now you're having like, you know, two channels kind of downloading to that user yeah. at the same time, which 
you can really visualize and understand how that's faster then. Well, if, yeah, if you think of like loading videos, if you're hosting videos on your site, not only are you rendering the page content all from your server, but you're trying to load the video from your server, um, which is why I always suggest for people to use like Vimeo or YouTube. Okay. You know, if you can't, <clears throat> if you can for multiple reasons, one for just speed sure. and taking that load off your server. Um, and this is kind of sidetracking from what we're on, but for video use, um, different browsers render or are able to play different video types back. Some okay. browsers aren't able to play certain video formats. Um, so if you're hosting on your own site, you got to have multiple formats of that video to potentially play on different browsers where if okay. you're pulling from Vimeo or YouTube, you're letting somebody else do that, do right. the grunt work for you. You know, they have their whole system set up. You're just throwing in an iframe and it's playing back what needs to be played back. So we'll loop back uh, to the CDN here in a second, but just to go further, I got a question for you. So like if I, if I have a, a video I upload to YouTube and then I embed that YouTube video, you know, in my site to be played. So like what you're saying is my website will load, but then that video doesn't actually load for my website. That's YouTube kind of still loading that yeah. at the same time my website's loading and kind of yeah. distributes so the content's the load. loading from YouTube. Okay. So you're not getting that server load from trying to pull that video from your own server and hosting account. So, I mean, and there's obvious benefits for SEO to hosting on YouTube anyways. YouTube is, um, I believe, still like the second most searched website, um, so effectively search engine, uh, in the United States behind Google, and Google owns YouTube. So, like, aside from everything else, if you got a video you want to load it somewhere, throw it up on YouTube. It's great for all the SEO reasons, but then, yeah, here, you know, if you have a video on your website, throw it up to YouTube or Vimeo or yep. any, any other popular one like that. Um, let them do the work. That makes a lot of sense. And also just from yeah. from the hosting side of things, uh, your hosting company keeps track of, you know, how much is being loaded from your server, okay. right? So uh, most people out there, it's not really going to matter too much, but I mean, say you do have a bunch of videos, you know, that starts getting tracked by your hosting company. Yeah. And, you know, you may run out of, uh, you know, again, my server t terminology here isn't the greatest, but... You know, you you may max out on certain things with your hosting plan that you have because sure. you're loading so much content directly from your server. Yeah, videos are dead odds if, for sure. If you're so. pulling the videos from YouTube or Vimeo or somewhere else, that's not going to affect you at all. Right. So. I think, uh, like, you, I don't have the exact terminology either, but I think uh, what's running through my head just to share with everybody is so you think about, like, your phone, right? Um, whether you maybe you have an unlimited plan on your phone for data, maybe you don't. I think we all understand that just viewing web pages and content and emails and Facebook is pretty light data usage compared to if I watch a movie on Netflix, right? Or I yeah. watch YouTube videos, reverse that around to your website, the content that you're serving up, let YouTube, you know, push all that video stuff out there, take that load. Um, that makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. So uh, let's circle back to CDNs. So that's kind of how they work and why they're important to speed your site up. Yeah. Um, Fair to say, I think I talked about it before, but Cloudflare is kind of our go-to, right? Yeah, that's what we use now, and there's a few different types of accounts for Cloudflare. I mean, we really use the the free Cloudflare For the most account, part, yeah. And Cloudflare has a ton of things you can use it for, and I mean, we barely scratch the surface of what it's used for. Right. You know, we just kind of do the initial setup, yep. you know, connect to Cloudflare. It starts using, you know, a certain percentage of your assets at pulls to Cloudflare and use it as a CDN. And they, they give you little nice little graphs to see how much content is being delivered from your server, yeah. how much content's actually being delivered from Cloudflare. Um, plus there's some security measures with Cloudflare that are right. just automatically built in. Right. Um, and and we, just, we are gonna have Joe on for a future episode so everybody knows too, like getting even deeper into site security. And that is, that is an aspect that we'll bring up because um, man, security is obviously very important. <laughs> Um, and CDNs can do a lot to help, to help protect you. And uh, like you're saying, Cloudflare, um, they do have paid, they do have paid channels. Uh, I'm sorry, they do have paid programs. Um, but for the most part, we just use their their free platform. Yeah. Um, and again, we're not affiliated with SiteGround. I have no affiliate link to share with everybody. Cloudflare. Is, what did I say? I'm sorry. SiteGround. Second. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> we do have an affiliate with SiteGround, not with Cloudflare. Um, but yeah, if you're, I mean, what are some other ones? There's uh, like Amazon has their own yeah, CDN. Yeah, so a lot of people use Amazon, uh, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, Amazon, Amazon Web Services. Google yeah. has oh, yeah, CDN. Yeah. I mean, there's there's different different ones out there. I mean, 
honestly, one of the reasons that we started using Cloudflare is just because it's easily integrated into our site ground yeah. C panels. Right. So, right. As double benefit might there. Might as well go with what they suggested to us. So. Yeah. Why reinvent the wheel, make things harder when you need to jump in and do something um, if the services integrate? You know, so here we're talking about using WordPress, using SiteGround, which rocks, and then dropping Cloudflare on top of that to speed us up and, and give a little bit of a security layer there too, if nothing else. Yeah. Um, so definitely check into those things. Or if you don't like the exact vendors we're talking about, Utilize some services like this uh, to yep. speed your site up. Um, Going to be much better than just a, a straight up website with, with none of that. All right, Jesse back here with you. We're going to take a pause right there, and we're going to continue the second half of this interview with Joe next week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, this first half of the interview. A lot of good information there with Joe. Um, hopefully some things that you can take action on that are, that are going to help you out right now. And there's going to be some cool stuff next week too. Uh, I can tell you that, so stay tuned for that going to jump in here reading our five-star review of the week um, if you haven't left us any feedback yet or left us a review we would absolutely love to hear from you uh, we like reading them on the show and we also love how it lets everybody else know if they're discovering our podcast for the first time um, what you think and it's great feedback for all of us in the real world you guys have heard us talk on our show plenty of times about reviews google reviews things like that and uh, this is where we need them. So if you haven't left, uh, left us a, a review yet we'd love to hear from you go to local and uh You'll find all that. You'll find all the information you need right there to leave us a review. This week we've got a great five star review from Clay Inferno. It says no one does SEO better. SEO needs local. Great tips and tricks for the pros and beginners. Uh, appreciate the feedback. Five stars. Love it. Uh, this is what we're all about. Is again, yeah, beginners to pros. Hopefully, we're sharing stuff that uh, at least at least one item a week. You know that you can get a good tip, something you can take action on and implement on your site, uh, or share with somebody else. So uh, appreciate that. Again, go out to localseotactics.com. We'd love to hear from you. And also, I uh, can't fail to mention our free instant SEO audit. If you haven't taken advantage of this yet, go on localseotactics.com. Yellow button, top right corner free instant SEO audit. You plug in your website page, um, the domain URL specific to the page that you want to, you know, check against here, uh, for yours or competitors and plug in the keyword that you want to run the score against. Um, it's going to churn out a great report, a punch list of things that you need to fix. Uh, it's also going to tell you what you're doing. Correct. Uh, you can use that for your own website to, um, plug it in, fix some things, run it again, see if your score improves. And also if you want to reverse engineer a competitor, completely free, use it as many times as you want. All right. So hope to see you all back here next week for part two with Joe Anderson. And for now that takes care of it. So we'll see you guys next week.